Welcome to our latest Flinder Talks and in this episode we're going to be talking about our five favourite accountancy apps that we use to run our business and run our clients' businesses. They make us more efficient, better controlled and help us deliver insight to our clients. I'm Alistair Barlow, founder and chief dreamer at Flinder. Hi, I'm Luke Streeter, chief delivery officer. So let's get into it. So Luke, first of all, what do you think as chief delivery officer is our favourite, most fundamental app for accountancy in our business? So yeah, let's start off with Xero. Uh, Xero is the bedrock of any accounting function. Fantastic piece of cloud-based uh, accounting software. Uh, the integrations, the, the way it talks to other apps, all the other apps we'll talk around um, on our top five, uh, they all integrate seamlessly into Xero as well. So look, there are a number of cloud applications. Why do we choose Xero as our preferred one? What does that give us more so than say some of the competitors? So Xero, we just found the, the way it works uh, in terms of the user interface uh, it is really easy to, to digest, easy to use. Um, some of the functionality compared to some of the others as well, we, we do prefer. Um, the way we can set kind of bank rules uh, in, in Xero is one of the features um, and also the way it links into some of the, the payment solutions as well. Um, so we'll come on to talk about another app which is payment solution um, and Xero integrates into that seamlessly as well. Brilliant, and obviously as a firm where we focus on Insight, we're getting a lot out of the API, so we're linking directly into Xero, which is a good API catalog and documentation to strip out that. So look, Xero's all fine and well, but it needs data into it. Yeah. So I guess that leads into our second favorite app that we use to run our clients' finance functions, actually getting data into it. So what do we use? So uh, Receipt Bank for our transactional processing. So uh, Receipt Bank is um, OCR automation for processing purchase invoices, sales invoices, and converting bank statements if needed as well. Um, and you can set up, uh, set rules for certain suppliers. You can also publish them through. So if something's always hitting the same general ledger code every month in, month out, there is no need to actually even touch that item. It will do the VAT, it will do the value, um, and it'll push it through to zero as a waiting payment for you. Um, so absolutely fundamental to, to making our finance function and, and what we deliver to clients and that's an efficient. So Luke, we've talked about zero being kind of the, the core uh, application we use as, as kind of the engine, if you like, for the finance function. Talked about Receipt Bank, Receipt Bank getting the data in accurately and efficiently, and, and they're two of the three things that we really care about, you know, efficiency, control, and insight in the finance function. But how do we control spend? How do we make sure we're actually um, controlling what, we, what we're authorized to spend within the business, not just capturing what has happened, kind of that more preventative control? What, what, what are we using in Flinder for that? Yeah, so we um, use Approval Max for invoice approval. Um, it also deals with PO approval process as well. Um, so it really does touch on that control element. Um, it does also give budget holders visibility as well though. So it's at the point of invoices coming into the business that they're approving it so they're aware of what the spend is as opposed to waiting until the monthly reporting kind of after the month end and then there is a surprise that there's cost within an area of the business that they look after. Um, again, it's very flexible in terms of the workflow. You can have multi-tiered approval as well. You can set it on uh, things like the department, the uh, individual, um, and general ledger code as well. So some great flexibility in there. So it's kind of a must for any business that's at that stage. And, and taken as a given, the ones we're talking about here are all, as you mentioned at the beginning, they're all integrated into the Zero ecosystem and, and directly natively integrated to Zero. So actually what we've done there is we've talked about, talked about a couple of them in what we call the procure to pay cycle. So I guess lastly, the final one in, that we're, we're going to talk about in that procure to pay cycle is Telleroo. So maybe explain a little bit more why we use Telleroo, what some of the challenges we had before we used Telleroo were. Yeah, absolutely. So Telleroo is a payment solution, helps automate uh, and add control around the, the payment processes. Um, and what Telleroo does, it takes the data that's housed in the accounting system, so within Xero, um, and it executes the payments to suppliers um, in bulk. Um, so if you have 15 payments that need to be made, and this was one of the challenges previously, um, and your bank didn't have the functionality to import or connect into an API into a system, you would have to load all 15 payments individually. You might have had beneficiaries saved already, um, but actually just removes that kind of manual nature. And then the approver can approve a payment run in total, as opposed to in, uh, approving 15 individual payments, as an example. And this is really great for those smaller businesses that are on maybe a lighter version of a banking uh, with their bank where they're not paying exorbitant fees and having that multi-layered level of control, they get it with Telleroo as a payment solution, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. So the last of our five favorite apps in accountancy is Silverfin. 
We adopted Silverfin about 12, 18 months ago, look, and it's really transformed the way in which we operate our working papers as a practice, much more consistency, much more control, and adds a layer of efficiency. But maybe you want to talk about specifically in terms of what Silverfin can add to, both, both adds to our practice, but can also add to other businesses. Yeah, absolutely. So Silverfin um, taking care of working papers is one of the, the prime functionalities. It does add that consistency, the robustness around um, the, the reconciliations. Uh, but also it connects directly in with Xero. So if there's one small change in Xero, it's seamless for it to update through to Silverfin and you just update the working paper. Whereas perhaps in the, the manual world, um, you'd be exporting reports, and manipulating it, pulling it into Excel and then updating it. Uh, it also has very good overall visibility of the portfolio as well. So we can see across the business, what stage of completion a file for each individual client will be at. Um, also some of the developments and some of the further uses that, that we haven't quite used uh, Silverfin for yet, but you can produce financial statements, uh, statutory accounts, there's also a custom reporting layer in Silverfin as well. So when you're housing all of that data that might have different charts of account codes that vary um, across different businesses, it normalises it, it gets into a set structure within Silverfin, so therefore it makes some reporting easier off the back of it. I think one of the really um, powerful things with Silverfin that's probably we've, we've not tapped into yet is the fact it's built on liquid and you can customise and build a plethora of reports yourselves based on that, that, that language liquid um, and, and really because all the data is in there within Silverfin so you can do quite a lot with it. So that's really, really powerful. So they were our top five apps. So number one, we've got Zero. Number two, Receipt Bank. Number three, Approval Max. Number four, Payments with Telleroo. And number five, as we just discussed, Silverfin. So Luke, what's your favorite out of the five? So I'd say it has to be Zero. It's the, the bedrock of the finance system. All of those other apps uh, wouldn't be anywhere near as good as they are if they weren't receiving that data from Zero. Um, and Zero is the, the system that houses all of it. Yeah, brilliant. So uh, thanks very much for watching this video. Uh, be sure to subscribe and give us a thumbs up. We've got a video playlist series here you can watch on 10 common mistakes we see startups make using Xero. Uh, we also have an ebook you can click into which the, is in the description field. And uh, we'll catch you next time on Flinder Talks.